Yo, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. Happy launch day. If you did not stay up way late into the wee hours of the morning to play MLB The Show 24, this is your first crack at it. So welcome to the game. I played Diamond Dynasty for about three hours last night, toyed around, did some offline stuff, and I now have a pretty good grasp of where all the content is. I know they had the feature premiere, but the feature premiere was lengthy. So I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on Diamond Dynasty in like 10 minutes or less. I'm not going to keep you guys here for too long. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Kenny. I post MLB The Show content on YouTube at least three times a week, usually more than that, especially early on in this content cycle. If you've never seen my content before, there's no frills here. No, no fancy edits, no snappy this, no snappy that. I just give you guys the information in the best way possible. I'm not trying to distill or dilute anything here. I'm just trying to give you guys the best information in the best way, in the most efficient way, so you guys can get what you want out of the video. So if that's your bag, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate every subscribe. Comment down below what you think so far of Diamond Dynasty and MLB The Show 24 in general. I welcome your thoughts. All right, so let's talk about Diamond Dynasty. I played, like I said, Diamond Dynasty for like two or three hours last night, and I already basically have an all-diamond lineup. I got Derek Jeter at shortstop, and this random Kike Hernandez that I pulled from a pack, standard pack, don't know how, he's playing second base, Gabby Moreno's catching, but otherwise, all diamonds. And haven't put a lot of work in. I'm also not super worried about team building right now because I'm trying to knock out as much offline stuff as possible because I want all the free stubs, the packs, the XP, whatever. I am playing this game no money spent. No, this is not necessarily a no money spent series or video, but that's just kind of how I'm operating. The goal of this video today was just to walk through all of the uh, mountains of stuff in Diamond Dynasty. There's content everywhere. So I want to take you first. We're just going to go in order here, left to right. We're going to go through the XP reward path. You're getting player items in this XP reward path. Some 85s because the power creeps back. Robin Roberts is here, which is good to see early in the game because usually they release him far too late for people to care. And as you can see, the overalls begin to go up. I want to talk about the captains really quickly. Um, there are only going to be 60 team captain cards this year, and they all dropped on launch. Uh, I kind of like the way they're doing that. Every team is getting one hitting captain, one pitching captain. I think that's, and they're all core, by the way, too, as you can see in the top left corner of the Trey Mancini card. I think that's going to be great for kind of eliminating some of that captain fatigue and keeping up with who the captains actually are. And I, I think it just makes sense. I, what I, I like what they've done with captains. They Every single one boosts hitting and pitching attributes. And then, let, like, let's say Trey Mancini boosts left-handed hitting attributes. The Orioles pitcher is going to boost right-handed hitting attributes, and, you know, they, they kind of play off each other. So I'm a big fan of that. You can get, I believe, four off launch out of the XP pack, but there are other ways to earn these captains as well. So that's cool. Also here, you'll see headliners are back. The first headliner is 91 Takashi Art Mickey Mantle. I like that Takashi Art is back. Oh, I never understood why it went away. It's really cool Takashi Art. Uh, 91 Soriano's here. 93 Napoli might be one of the best offensive cards in the game already. He's never seen a glove in his life, but he's incredible, incredible at the plate. Uh, the, but the thing I want to point everyone's attention to here is, oh, well, 97 Kyle Seager, you also talk about that, is this. Okay, so there were, this is going to shock you, a lot of Neanderthals in the Twitch chat during the feature premiere. They're like, hey, you said this was power creep. Why are there 99s available day one? In the season one reward path for XP, you can make it all the way to a million XP, which is a lot, and you can pick any of these three guys. They also have the pack appear two more times, so you can get all three. I'm picking Andy Pettit, shameless Yankee fan, whatever. I don't know if you all understand, and I'm not necessarily directing this comment to every viewer, because some of you do understand, but a million XP is not going to take you a day. It's, it's not going to take you two days. It, it, it won't take you seven days, especially if, the, <clears throat> excuse me, especially if the XP cap was toyed with. This is going to take every bit of two weeks, hopefully more for most people. I, as much as I want Andy Pettit, I appreciate that SDS has put an emphasis on slow playing content this year. I don't want to speed run it. I want to speed run all the grindy stuff in the beginning and then just play. But like this type of stuff, 
I don't I don't want to breeze through. So, no, this does not mean 99 day one. You can look at them on day one, as I'm doing. I'm staring at them in the eyes. They're not available necessarily for you to get. I think you might be able to get them in BR. I can't confirm that because I haven't played a BR run yet, uh, but I'm imagining that's possible. Maybe you guys can fact check me. Uh, you guys are always my fact checkers, but uh, either way. Love the XP path, love the bosses, big fan. Moving to Team Affinity, as you can see, I'm starting to make a wee teensy bit little progress. Nothing super crazy to report on Team Affinity. We know it's dropping in chapters. We already know the cards that are here. Uh, Sean Green still has maybe the best swing in the history of humanity, by the way, so I will be getting him with my first choice in the American League East. Um, showdowns are repeatable. That's massive. You can literally sit here um, and do the showdown. The showdown gets you four Team Affinity vouchers, and that equates to 5%. So if you do, the show if you do nothing else and you do the showdown 20 times... Jesus, you can complete one team infinity. Uh, the showdown takes about like 20 to 30 minutes. I think there's eight stages to it, nine stages to it, something like that. Uh, I don't think that's the most efficient way to do it. But theoretically, you could. When we're talking other programs here, you have your starter program like always. This Rafi Palmero is actually a really good budget Rafael Palmero compared to the big beefy one who we'll talk about after this. Um, I have him already. I still have not made my way yet to Sandy Alcantara at the end of the program. Primary sinker. He doesn't have any outlier quirks, but he, he'll be a decent early game starter for you. And lots of lots of ways to do this. Moments, which I've completed. You could do like mini starter collections that require literally no stub investment. So I did those. Uh, player exchange, 300. I think that was three common cards. And then starter showdown, which was I skipped to the end. You could just score 10 runs on rookie before you get 20 outs. So that was easy, too. Um, and then the spring debut, which I sorry, I just skipped. Spring debut has a lot of fun early game cards. You do three or four moments and you automatically get the first one. Kyle Manzardo has a great swing. Tamar Johnson has a nice swing as, re as well. Excuse me. Don't sleep on this guy, Jacob Le Miserable. I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to learn how to say his name because he is a, a jolly green giant on the mound who has outlier fastball with a cutter and a funky delivery. I know we're looking at his BB per nine and control and saying, oh, Kenny, that's frightening. It is. Uh, I agree with you with the wholest of my heart. However, early in the game, beggars can't necessarily be choosers with a power creep. That's what everyone's going to come to understand, that we're not waiting on beefy five tool 125 everything cards anymore. We're making do with the things we have and finding diamonds in the rough. Will Le Miserable be your best pitcher? Probably not, but I, I think he might be effective. So when I get him, I'm close-ish, I'm going I'm to give him a shot. I backed out again. Um, the big boys here are James Wood, who has a really nice swing. I think they toyed with it a little bit. Colson Montgomery looks great on paper. I don't particularly like him a ton, but that doesn't mean you can't. And then Dylan Cruz is your big guy. Dylan Cruz is nutty. Dylan Cruz is great. I'm a big Dylan Cruz guy. I will probably use this card once I get it. And there are more in the show shop because there's this spring breakout choice pack. 40,000 stubs. Don't buy it. Wait until the prices come down and then you can buy them with the marketplace. This is where you're getting your Jackson Holiday. This is where you're getting Paul Skeens, who is the best. Mm, it's probably top three starter available day one. He's going to cost you 91,000 stubs, but he's probably a top three starter available day one. He's very good. Ethan Salas, I can't wait for this kid to get into the bigs. He's 18 years old, and I feel like I've heard his name since he was 14. This kid's nuts. Jace Young is here. He's fine. Spencer Jones, our future Yankees king, is here. He's doing great. Rhett Louder, low-key, not bad. Like, there's good cards here. This guy's got a really nice swing. Dalton Rushing, never heard of him until yesterday, or I guess this morning, technically. Jet Williams, he's a fast boy. Lots of stuff. Lots of cool stuff. But getting back to... We did the other pro... Let's go, let's go to collections now. Let's go to collections. Let's talk live series collection. So, live series collection brought about a little bit of a, a conversation in, the, in the, the feature premiere last night. And for good measure, everyone's allowed to have constructive conversations. Uh, they took away division collection rewards. Which I was a little disappointed in. It doesn't impact really anything long term. But the division series or division collection cards are typically kind of cool. 
Uh, I don't know why they took him away. Never really explained it. Doesn't necessarily require an explanation. Um, but I think with the, the game being flooded with so many cards in so many different ways and so many different areas, you don't necessarily need those collections. That's my guess. But the thing to talk about here is that the National League and American League collections are 95 overalls. The National League is Hyper Series, love that series name, and card art, Pedro Martinez. Uh, he throws his cutter. He's typical Pedro Martinez. He looks good for a 95 with the way captains are now semi-balanced. That's going to help him quite a bit. In the American League, this is what I was talking about with Palmero, is a... Cr oh, that's Roy Oswald, I'm sorry. Is a crazy good Rafael Palmero. Contact certainly a little lower, but you're getting good power. Vision is great. Clutch is okay. Rafael Palmero's swing is elite. I determined that immediately last night. His swing is excellent. Just another crazy good lefty swing. So I am very anxious to get Palmero. The reason why these cards are 95s, in my opinion, usually they're 99s. Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa last year, 99s. Because each season is going to start fresh after a 12-week period, all of your core cards are going to be so key in building your early season new lineup, right? SDS, again, we talked about balance. SDS wants to balance the game out. They don't want day one lineups of every new season to be cracked and disgusting. They want to level the playing field to some degree and let people with skill work their way through the ladder quicker and, you know, etc., etc. So you're already going to have at least one 99 with the Major League Series or Live Series Collection. We'll talk about that in a second. And while 95 is still much better than an 89... It's not it's not the same feeling as a 99. So uh, they're just leveling the field a little bit. I don't hate it. It is, you know, definitely a change of course than what we're used to. That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's different. So I'm open to it. Obviously, it's not like we have any say in it at this point. Uh, but at least the cards are fun. Pedro's very fun. One of my favorite pitchers in 23. Palmero has a phenomenal swing. I'm here for it. And talking about the Major League Collection, the Live Series Collection, it is a two-way, get the hell out of his way, Babe Ruth. This card is insane. Of course, he's max hitting. He looks great. And then the pitching is really strong. He throws a sinker. Again, it seems like gone are the days of crazy five tools. There will be a few. There won't be a lot. So we can nitpick on this card and be like, oh, he's a 99 pitcher, but his BB per nine is bad, but his K per nine is bad. His hits per nine could be higher. You're not wrong, but I like it. I like that we're dealing with decisions that we have to make. I now have to make a decision like, oh, I have 99 Babe Ruth, or let's say a 99 Johan Santana comes out. At some point he will. And I have one spot in my rotation to choose from. Do I value the BB per nine of Johan, or do I value the, the whatever of Babe Ruth? I appreciate that. I like that. I'm here for that. So there's so much content, guys. There's another collection here with uh, you can collect all the pre-order pack cards and get this 91 Vladdy. I wouldn't prioritize this because this is kind of an expensive collection for a card that's good, but not out of this world. Uh, the season collection, they're going to add on to this with more content as it goes on. But if you collect 30 cards, you can get this Craig Biggio. He doesn't have Catcher as a secondary, which is a little disappointing, but I mean, whatever. Uh, he's a max versus lefty contact, which is good for early game. I also, fun fact, have this card in real life. 91 John Franco, Hyper Series again, looks amazing. Early game, quality lefty. I like what SDS seems to have done here by giving lesser legends time to shine early in the game. Huge fan. They could have dropped this. Uh, they could have dropped a 91 Chapman on our heads day one. And like, boom, there's your lefty. Instead, we're getting John Franco at the gate. I like that. And then your collection cards. This was the card at the bottom of that Diamond Dynasty blog. It is Willie Mays. Wet Willie is here. He looks just like a Willie Mays card. Satchel Page, 99 starter. You're not going to get this card for forever. So don't complain about 99's day one. Shout out Bullet Club up there. Uh, but he's the same card as last year. And then beautiful card art, 3,000 hit club milestone, George Brett. I wish his powers were just a scotch higher, but that's such a nitpick that it's almost hysterical that I'm even making it. Just three crazy good cards. Um, you can get all three of them. It's going to take you some time, 
my first pick from this will probably be George Brett. I think I'm going to go Brett. Oh, depending on what the pitching landscape is by then, Page, w- Willie, but I, mm, that's a tough one, actually. D- George Brett, I think, is clearly first. And then you can do all sorts of stuff. Cool thing, like if you don't like the cornerstone captain you choose, you can exchange it for free and get another one. Um, uh, just so many good things were done. I hope this Diamond Dynasty recap, I know it seems like I speed ran it, but the goal of this was to speed run it because you could listen to a two and a half hour feature prepare or you could listen to 13 minutes of me or whatever this recording's been. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button because we have a massive year ahead for MLB The Show 24. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video and pull all your diamonds over these next couple days. Enjoy early release. Enjoy launch if you're coming to this video at regular launch on March 19th. Either way, just enjoy the show.